everybody, it's Anne here from PositivelyPaperCraft.co.uk and I'm back with a tutorial and I saw this project on um, Live Love and Scraps website, not website, YouTube channel. Uh, she made something like this about three years ago I think um, and what it is, is it's a mason jar gift bag. Um, and I think it is just so cute and it opens like that it's quite deep inside and I've made a little shaker pocket in the front of mine um, and when the other lady made hers she had purchased the, the bags inside and then just stuck the paper on the front but I've just made it all from scratch and it's pretty simple to do um, the shaker part obviously is hidden in between the card and the paper so I wish I'd stamped a few of these little lemons um, like on the background because now that I've put them in they're kind of just all clinging together because I did about five of them and um, so I wish I had done that but never mind so yeah I'm going to show you how to make it now we're going to make the one I'm going to make with you now is going to be a little smaller one but I'll put all the measurements on my blog and if you want to make the bigger or the smaller one it's exactly the same. You just need a uh, different size paper and card. Um, okay so I'm going to do this one in a kind of like tropical theme so I'm using the tropical chic using the paper, the stamp set and also uh, I've used some of the framelits as well. So first of all I've got a piece of design, of, uh, no, a piece of Whisper White which is four and a half by three and three quarters and this is the bit I'm going to stamp on um, to be the shaker bit. So I've just got some of the stamps from the stamp set and I'm using Call Me Clover and Flirty Flamingo and I'm just going to stamp a few just so it looks like this kind of leaves in the jar. Okay so just, just randomly There we go, so I'm happy with that, just as like a background for the shaker. And then the spray that I made the other day, we're going to spray some of that on it to make it nice and shimmery. So got the spray I made the other day and I'm just going to spray it in the bin actually because I don't want it to go everywhere so I'll just quickly spray this oh wow it's gorgeous I don't know if you'll be able to pick the shimmer up on it oh, I think you can yeah wow look at that beautiful so I've sprayed that and I'd cut out some of the the flowers, not flowers, leaves in Flirty Flamingo and I sprayed them as well. Can you see that? Love that spray, it's beautiful. Yeah, I'm addicted to using it on everything now. So there we go. That looks beautiful and sparkly and it dries really quick as well like so quick it doesn't ruin your paper I mean obviously if you used it with water it probably well, it would ruin your paper so I've got a piece of Whisper White 
two pieces of whisper wide one piece which measures um, nine by six and one piece which is four by five um, two pieces of DSP which are both four um, four and a half by six okay I was looking at the wrong measurement there so we need a scoreboard so the large piece what you're going to do is score this on the long side at half an inch one and a half and two and a half and then you're going to flip it and do the same on the other so half an inch one and a half and two and a half all right turn it straight round so the scores are now on the right and score again half an inch one and a half and two and a half okay turn it to the short side and we where are we going to score oh, haven't wrote it down it's five anyway i'm sure it is oh, damn, I, bet I've done, I bet i've done it wrong score at five okay so you'll end up with that and I take some scissors and we are going to cut those three little boxes at the bottom we're going to cut them all off And then just so they don't catch and get in the way of the bag what we're going to do is just also take just another kind of little piece off like we don't want any of the score lines or anything left on so just take another piece off like a small just a small little bit probably just a millimeter Okay, so we've got that and then we're going to fold and then we're going to fold the next one back this way and then this one this way so you've got a kind of accordion fold. So you've got that which is creating your little bag okay and this will fold up over that when we glue our other piece on so what we'll do is we'll take this piece and we'll glue this on here first and then we will stick that down so it's creating our little bag So we need some tape down both of these thin pieces here. Open it out and just stick the first one 
없네. 오케이. And just line it up with the score line and just stick that down to there and then just peel the tape off this piece and then that will just get stuck on to there okay so you've got your little bag and if there's any hanging over you can just trim that off and then we want some tape along the bottom There we are. I mean, that also that's another little way to make a cute little bag as well. So that's the bag done. Now take take what your pieces of paper, and I've got the envelope punch board, and all we're going to do. Is we're just going to pop it in on the long side and we're going to line it up at one inch and we're just going to punch flip it over do the same and you'll end up with that okay So you've got two like that and then take your scissors and you just want to snip that off to that little line there okay do the same here you can use your trimmer as well if you want so you've got that now which looks like the jar a jar and then again okay and then we're going to round the corners all four corners them prepared apart from um, the I'm going to put, stick a piece along which I don't think I've cut out yet um, and we're, now we're going to do our shaker piece so we're going to take our lovely shimmery bit of car that looks lovely and I'm using the fuse tool so I've got a piece of and um, the plastic sheets that I use, the page protectors somewhere, there it is this happens to measure five by four and a half and it's only joined on one side so it's going to get popped in here okay, because I, I don't need to seal that side up alright, you can still see the shimmer I've got my fuse tool, I've had it heating up for a while. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fuse, fuse the bottom. So 
sorry everyone it was getting a bit dark so I had to put the light on and I also had to trim this because it was a little bit too long so I've fused the bottom and the side and then I'm going to pop in a couple of these little leaves that I cut out and then some of these lovely sequins that I'd showed you the other week I think I got these from the range Alright, so we've got them in there, which look gorgeous. So I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to fuse this up. I'm just going to run it down. Okay, so there's my little shaker pocket and I'm just going to trim this little bit off. get this mat out the way because it's reflecting whoops reflecting the light all right so we've got that and what I did as well was with one of the jars I cut out um these these are rectangles they're not stamping up and um, I did the second largest but you can use an oval a circle whatever you want but I'll just cut that out because I like the shape and then that is going to get stuck onto there which will make our little jar love this so what you want to do is turn this over remember to turn it face down you don't want to stick it the wrong way and all I'm going to do is just put some glue okay all around and what I did as well was I took two bits of gold uh, foil they are one inch by three and three quarters I rounded the corners and then on the this side I scored three marks at every quarter of an inch just to kind of look like the lid so they are going to get glued onto the top like that on both of them use a bit of top okay so now this is going to get stuck I always manage to get glue this is going to get stuck to our bag now what will happen is you'll have a little gap kind of at the side on each each jar which is what you want so we're going to pop glue on our bag all right and then we are going to attach this to our jar I'll have to cover that with something I think really sweet 
And then the same, you're going to put this one on the back. So you're going to put glue all over the bag. Or well, you, you can use tape, I suppose, if you wanted to. And then just try and get this level with the other jar, which I haven't done. It's going to have to do it's about as level as I can get it now. It's stuck. I might just snip that bit off because I didn't want that sticking out, but I haven't stuck it in the right place. That's fine though. How gorgeous are these? Just so cute. And then just to decorate it, I have got some twine, um, <clears throat> some twine, which I'm going to tie just around the first um, little, well, lid, what looks like the lid. I'm going to trim some off. And what I've done as well is I cut out, I'm just going to tie this in a double knot first, just to stop it from moving about. What I did was using um, a couple of tags, I cut out one um, with the other, the DSP, the reverse, and I put the, sp the sparkly spray on there as well. And then the little tab, I stamped thank you from Woodwards, and I just stuck a little sequin on. And they are going to get slotted through the little hole. And then I've got two of the leaves that I cut and I sprayed with my homemade shimmer spray. And what I'm going to do is I might just glue them just on there so they also look like they're coming, they're kind of stuck on the lid like that. So I'm just going to get... Um, couple of blue dots I think. I love this uh, shimmer spray. Absolutely gorgeous. Just stick that on there. And then this one just sort of over the top. And there is our, oh, our gorgeous little mason jar shaker bag brilliant gifts for you know all sorts of stuff birthdays you know whatever you can put whatever you want in them and uh, they are just gorgeous and you can see that shimmery spray there and I put this this is all shimmery as well love it just so cute so that's a smaller version and then there is the larger version that I made first so quite a difference in size there I think I like this little cute one but you can get loads of stuff in and as I said there's a good way to make a little gift bag there as well if you don't want to put the the mason um, jar bit on so all the info will be on my blog and I'll be back again on Friday with another tutorial. So thanks for watching, take care and bye for now.